Hey everyone, I hope we're all doing well. So today we are here on Try Hack Me as you can see and we are going to do a walkthrough of this room, Bounty Hacker. But first let me just give the proper shout out to the creator of the room. And I don't really know how to pronounce his nickname, uh, Sevol or Sevol, I, I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. I'll leave the links to his socials in the description below. So make sure you show him some love. But for now, let's just start with our room. So I already connected to the VPN and I just uh, booted up the, the machine. So let me just copy this to the clipboard. And yes, I already finished the first test that is just uh, deploying the machine. So that's done. And now let's open port. Let's find which open ports we have on this machine. Now, first of all, let me just show you this here on the right side. As you can see here, uh, this is an easy machine, which is great for you to practice using your basic enumeration tools like Nmap, for example. And that's exactly what we are going to do. Let's just run a basic Nmap script uh, with uh, SV for enumerate versions and then SC for default scripts. And then let's just run. And while this is running, let's take a look at the other tasks. So we are running our nmap scan to find out which open ports do we have and then who wrote the task list so we are supposed to find some kind of task list that's great what service can you brute force with a text file so there's also a text file that we can use to brute force some service uh, we have to wait for our nmap results to uh, take a look into that to make sure we find which services are running on the machine now what is the user's password? So there's a user and we have to find his password. And then we have these two flags, the root flag and the user uh, flag. Now I'm going to blur these two flags. Why? Because I don't want you to just copy and paste the flags uh, without doing pretty much anything. I want you guys to learn. And the best way to learn this stuff is to actually learn it by doing, uh, get your hands dirty. like putting in the effort with your hands on your keyboard and actually trying stuff. That's the only way you're going to learn. So yeah, I actually talked with Ben at TryHackMe and he asked me to um, hide the answers whenever that's possible. So for some tasks, that's a bit silly because it's very hard to blur everything. But anyway, I digress. Let's see our Nmap script. It's finished now. So let's see what we have here. So first of all, we have uh, port 21 with FTP. And as you can see here, we can use uh, anonymous login. And that's great. We are going to try that. Then we have port 22 for SSH. So let's say we find some credentials or users. We can always try to brute force some credentials, trying to get access to the machine. And then we also have port 80 for HTTP. So there is um, a web application here. Let's try to get access to it. Uh, we go, we copy our IP here. Yes, there's a web application and it doesn't seem to have anything interesting. Uh, there's nothing to click on. You can press control U uh, to view the source code. Um, yeah, it's just a basic HTML page with some text. Yep, nothing really interesting here on the web application. So yeah, let's try to FTP into the machine. Let me just clear this. So FTP and we paste our IP address. For the name, we are going to use anonymous. And we, uh, as you can see, we have uh, login successful. Now let's see what we have here. Okay, so if this happens to you, um, this means that you just entered a passive mode. So that's bad news. So you can press control C and then you can type passive. And now the passive mode is off. So now you can run your commands normally. So LS and as you can see, we found two TXT files. So let's just get those two files um, into our machine with the command get. Okay, so now I think this is all. So let's exit this, uh, clear. Let's see what files we have here. So we have logs.txt and task.txt. Let's start with the text, um, with the task I mean. Okay, so this is a task list and we know that we are looking for someone who wrote a task list. Uh, we already 
read that on the tasks on the try hacking platform so this is a task list one and two protect vicious in plan for red eye pickup on the moon that's great so lin is the guy that wrote this task list so let's just add that answer here okay so we found uh, which ports we had open on the machine who wrote the task list now this is lin let's just check the hints have you visited FTP yeah we have so that's where we found Lin. what service can you brute force with the text file found now we have another text file that we can look which is the locks Wow okay there's um, a lot of information here but as you can see this this looks like a um, password dictionary it's um, it has something to, to do with the red dragon and then some other characters. So th this is maybe a password dictionary that we can use to brute force the SSH port that we found open in our Nmap script or Nmap scan, sorry. Um, so let's try that. And there's a very good tool you, you can use to brute force SSH, uh, which is Hydra. So let's just run Hydra to see what we can find. So you, I mean, let me just clear this to make sure the command goes on top of the screen. So Hydra, and then you press dash L uh, for the user. And we know that Lin is the guy that wrote the task list. So maybe he is the user. Now we are going to use this file. So we need the capital P. We copy and paste our IP address and we specify the protocol that we are going to try to brute force. So let's finger cross and repress enter. Okay, so it just found the password. Uh, that was fast. <laughs> so let's see if they are trying to know the password. Um, oh, first, what service can you brute force with the text file found? That's SSH. Now, what is the user's password? Uh, let me just copy because it's going to be easier. Oops. Let me just copy this. Um, you can paste it here. Yes. So now we have a user and a password. So let's try to access to the machine using those credentials. So once again, let me just clear this. SSH lin uh, at oops. I pressed the wrong button. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I'm just a dumbass. Okay. What? I just copied it. Maybe I have to do it like that. I'm really lazy. I could just type it by hand. Okay. So now it's going to ask for the password. And we copy this. Um, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And now it's asking for the password and we just logged in that's great um let's see what we have here so there's our user flag um uh, i'm going to make a cat uh, user.txt but i'm going to blur this and i already explained why so this is our flag i'm going to copy this and put it in our answers that's right, as you can see up here on the right. And now, let me just clear this. Okay, so we need to be root. Let's just see how am I. We should be lin, yes. So now let's see what scripts can we uh, run as root, as sudo. Okay, so as you can see, lin can run tar as root. So this is great for us because there's a way that we can get a root shell um, as lin using this star command. So let's go to this get uh, uh, here. Now we need a shell. So we go here. Let me just make this a bit bigger. We need a shell. And now let's search for the command that lin can execute, which is star. Um, where star yeah that's it so we are going to use this this one liner um, to get access to root so let's do sudo and bin and then we copy the thing that we just get got from that website uh let's see who am i 
and we are root. So, where? So we are on desktop. Let me just go here. Okay, home. Uh, ls. Okay, so let's go to root. Ls, and we have our root.txt flag. Let's get this. And yeah, there it is. So I'm going to blur this once again. And let's just copy this to our answers. And that's it. We just finished the room. This room was really fun for me. It, it was very basic, it was very easy. It's meant to be that easy. It's for people that are just starting out and maybe the next room is going to be Pickle Rig because Pickle Rig is also very funny. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys liked it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.